In this video, you'll learn how to work with templates in CorelDRAW. CorelDRAW comes with a number of templates preloaded, from business cards to resumes to social media layouts, and has a whole lot more available for free download. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you'll find a written copy of this tutorial to follow along with. To get started with templates, we'll go to File, New from Template. Click on any of the thumbnails to see a larger preview of the template, along with some property information. For easier viewing, you can use the slider on the bottom left to change the size of the thumbnails. If you right-click on a thumbnail and choose Properties, you can edit information like the title, keywords, or category. You can do the same thing by selecting a thumbnail and clicking the Properties button on the bottom left. To locate a template file in the Finder, just click the folder icon to the left of the Properties button. Templates are easy to find by searching for keywords or by filtering by category. CorelDRAW also offers a free pack of 150 templates you can download. In the Templates dialog box, you can access them by clicking the Download icon in the top right. Select Business Pack and just click to download and install. You can also find the pack of templates by going through the Welcome screen and choosing Get More. Once you download the pack, you'll have many more options to choose from. So we're going to filter to look for a business card, choose one we want to work on, and then click Open. Templates can provide a great jumping off point for your designs, but the best part about them is that every feature is customizable. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up my objects and text inspectors so that I can use this template to create my own design. And here you can see I've swapped out the background, brought in my own logo, and change the default typeface for my business card. The next thing we're going to want to do is save our design as a template. That way, if we have to make a business card for another employee, all we have to do is swap out the name. So we'll go to File, Save as Template, input our name, and by default when you choose Save as Template, CorelDRAW will save it in the default templates folder, which is exactly what we want for now. So we'll hit Save, and then we'll have an opportunity to adjust any properties that we like. So I'll add a couple of keywords here to make it easy for me to search for this template. I'll leave the category as business cards and then hit save. Now to find this template again, we'll go to file, new from template. Then we'll search for barbershop, which is one of the keywords we added to the properties. And there it is. Another way you can sort your templates is by favoriting them. And you do that by right clicking on the thumbnail and choosing favorite. So I'll choose a couple other favorites as well. And then if we come over to this drop down menu here and choose favorites, you'll see they're all there. Now, as I mentioned, CorelDRAW will by default save your new templates in the same folder. So as long as you save them in there, if you go to my templates, you'll be able to sort templates you've created that way as well. Now let's take a look at how we can work with multi-page templates. So here I've created a template for a slide presentation and I have three pages. And you can see that each page has the same basic design and that's because most of these design elements are under my master page, as you can see on the right-hand side in the Objects Inspector. Anything that's on that master page is going to be repeated on every new page that I create in this document, making it really easy for me to stick with my format throughout my presentation. So now we're gonna save this template, but this time I wanna save it in a location other than the default templates folder. So accessing it is going to be a little bit different. So if we go to New from Template, and then go to the My Templates folder, which would typically hold all of the new templates we create, we'll see that our business card from before is there, but our presentation is not. And that's because we didn't save it in the default template folder. So one way to open it up would be to just locate it in the Finder and open it like any other CorelDRAW document. But we can also add it to our Templates dialog. To do that, we'll choose Add New from the dropdown, then click Create Alias, and select the folder where we saved our template. In this case, that folder was also named Templates, just in a different location, and you'll see that it's now available in the drop-down menu. And that's it. You're now ready to work with templates in CorelDRAW. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you'll find a written copy of this tutorial to follow along with. 